This last week, I had started kind of getting into a toxic mindset a little bit, and it kind of stemmed from a little bit of insecurity, a little bit of unself-awareness, if, uh, if that's the right word. I wanted to kind of talk about that this week because I feel like it's important to learn from your mistakes and learn from the ways that you've you've grown too. This past week, I was I was working at Amazon as I have been doing for the past year and a half or two years or something like that. Something kind of struck my mind. Um, a little bit of a situation that had happened the week prior and sometimes you know how you just you start like thinking over these things and then you kind of like start thinking like oh this is how I should have responded or this is how I will respond the next time you kind of start like scheming in your head a little bit you know and it it can sometimes just bring you to a really toxic place of like negativity and garbage and put you in a bad mood to be honest and that's exactly where I was headed right this particular situation that I was thinking about someone had said something to me that didn't really sit right with me kind of made me feel bad a little bit but in the moment I definitely reacted in a way of insecurity because I was insecure about it that's besides the point because the thing that the person said about me wasn't necessarily false it wasn't all true either obviously you know it, it annoyed me for a reason and that's because there was you know there was some truth to it but there was also some not truth to it I think that the most important part of these kinds of situations is not only being self-aware enough to realize that maybe there is some truth to it, but also being self-aware enough to realize that maybe you're wrong or maybe you reacted in a wrong way. Coming from a place of like humility and just understanding that, you know, we're both reacting in the ways that we're reacting for a specific reason and for me this overthinkingness of this situation I started to realize when I was overthinking it that yeah there was some truth to what this person this person said you know and I'm obviously I'm not going to get into the specifics of what this person said you know the moral of the story is like I was really only mad about it because there was some truth to it and there are some things that I can fix about myself. Just being self-aware enough to realize who you are. Because if you don't realize like who you are and your flaws and you know the parts of you that you could work on, the parts of you that just are what they are, those are what insecurities are going to stem from. And if you want to ultimately like take care of or get rid of your insecurities, then you need to realize that there are parts of you you can't get rid of. You know, I can't change my face. I can't change my eye shape. I mean, technically I could get like surgery or whatever, but I'm not going to do that, right? And there's there's character flaws that I have. None of these things can be fixed if I'm not self-aware enough to realize that these are things that are a part of myself. And I hope that this makes sense because I know it's starting to get a little bit convoluted at this point. But at the end of the day, I came out of that shift feeling good because I know who I am. I accept who I am and I'm okay with the flaws and I'm working on the flaws that I can fix. So anyways, I hope that this was helpful. I miss you all. I know that I have not been as active on social media and stuff recently and that's just because I've been really trying to kind of cut the crap out of my life, you know? So <laughs> yeah, I've just been kind of trying to stay off social media for the most part and just like focus a lot of my time on writing music and stuff like that. So I apologize if, if you guys have been wondering where I've where I've been at a lot of these days because I just haven't been quite as active but I love you a lot uh, and I'm so glad that you're here and I'll talk to you guys next week hopefully if I'm not like if I have something to talk about sometimes I just don't have things to talk about but anyways love you guys I'll talk to you soon okay bye so where did I fit in?